Hey guys, I'm Mandy. This is Lucrea Tarot. Um, I went ahead and pulled cards and got some clarifications for y'all before I started. So, uh, to start off, we got the King of Wands with the Five of Pentacles here. And there could be a fire sign involved. They don't have to be. But what I'm getting with this is that somebody here a masculine energy is like in the dog house you see don't it look like that <laughs> okay five of pentacles this person feels left out in the cold um or you know they just know that they didn't did something wrong because we got the seven of swords over here all right <coughs> which is a deceptive energy um the seven of swords with the four of cups so back over here we got the page of swords with the five of wands so there seems to be somebody here let me show you. some there's a karmic here and i'm seeing 111 on the timer there's a karmic here who's trying to cause disruption for this um empress energy here um taurus libra energy and then we got gemini libra aquarius aries over here <clears throat> so trying to cause disruption now the thing about this i was noticing is that there's this bird here in this page of swords and over here in this seven of swords it's like this bird has got uh it's it's hiding hiding this bird you see what i'm saying <clears throat> so you know when i th and i'm thinking baby bird i think they're there could be a situation where possibly someone is pregnant here. And, you know, this King of Wands energy over here may may know that they can't hide this much longer. Um, okay, so that's why this tower, that's why this person is, you know, they got this, there's like this uh, shadow cast over them or like dark cloud over them because they know they can't hide that pregnancy much longer so <clears throat> then we got the uh ten of swords with the page of wands and then another thing i'm getting here too is there's another story here so there's a couple of different stories this also could be that um something has come to light here about you know this masculine energy and that's why he's in the doghouse i'm gonna say he because it's a king but there's no gender in tarot so Take it where it fits for you. So this empress here could be a wife or baby mama or something like that. So you could be this person that seen what was going on somehow. Somehow you seen it. Okay, so with all these papers and stuff, I'm thinking like there may be literally some kind of um, letters, notes, or something you see on paper, or it could be something on social media messages i don't know something like that so this is either it's came out already or possibly it will be and this is just this person running knowing that something's coming out now i don't have to necessarily be a pregnancy for everybody but it is a third party situation here i believe it's coming to an end from what it looks like at the the last cards i pulled but that could also be you um or this person, whichever one you are in this story, that's ending the connection or the, the connection, the marriage or something like that because of what's being found out. So with the Ten of Swords and the Page of Wands, there is somebody here who's cut off communication. Um, there could be a fire sign here. So someone could have suddenly cut off communication with this third party. <clears throat> All right, because they're in regret they they're in regret because someone found out really okay and slowed them down here with this page of pentacles knight of coins and the five of swords that's what i'm getting with that so <clears throat> this okay so with the king of swords and the six of wands and then this five of coins which is the five of pentacles um what i'm getting from this is that since this possibly was discovered here uh there's there's not a victory for this person okay this king of swords energy 
King of Swords can be an air sign or it can be somebody who's kind of mm, cold. They could be narcissistic, okay? Because all the cards are in the upright. So if the King of Swords was in reverse, and I don't have any reversals out here because I just didn't. I usually don't do reversals, but I think I might start. Okay, <clears throat> so anyway, if the King of Swords is in reverse here, which with all these other cards here, it feels like you should be for real. So the Five of Pentacles is the same card that we started with, with the, which is this uh, somebody's in the doghouse type energy. The victory here could be that you uh, found out about something here. And then we got Death with the Three of Wands and the Page of Cups. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Um, something's coming. Somebody is, I feel like that maybe this Empress or, you know, whichever part you are here has, uh, something's come to light. And so now this person is ending, ending something here. Some kind of love offer they were offering somebody else, okay? Then we got the Three of Pentacles with this Knight of Wands energy. This person's definitely been wearing a mask here. And, you know, there could be up to <clears throat> three people involved, or that could just be you, them, and the third party. So this person who had you in confusion and had many options is now making a choice here that they, they want to have another go with you another chance with you with this 10 of pentacles and the full 2.0 this person could be um really focused on money and stability okay with these cards so they could have you could have kids together um or this person could have kids with you know the other person so we got the nine of pentacles with the two of wands but it's like they're it's almost just like they got slowed down or because why is the two of wands here? The two of wands is usually about some kind of goals. Okay. But it can also be about somebody making a choice about their goals, I suppose. So we got the devil with the hierophant and the 10 of wands. So the devil here could be, um, you know, this person, that you're married to this person who is in this toxic energy, okay? And like this seven of swords at the front where there was a bird in the like the bird cage, there's um there's people in this one. So this is like on a whole nother level here. And then we got two eight of swords down here. So it's like this person wants to keep you bound to them and at the same time have third parties. Okay. Also, what I'm getting with that um, is that for some of y'all, this whole third party thing has gotten to be a burden on whoever this is, and they're kind of tired of it. And so now, you know, so it's either because the stuff came out or this person is just literally exhausted of trying to run game all around the, you know, all around the board here. Okay, they're tired of having to cover up their lies and all this stuff. Really, they won't. What they want really is stability, but, you know, for whatever reason, they've been in this toxic energy. Maybe they needed to heal something here. Okay, so next we got Judgment with the Queen of Cups, the Magician, the Seven of Wands, Death Card, and the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> so this Queen of Cups could be this uh, third-party energy here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Don't have to be those signs. That could indicate, you know, the mother situation or mother of a kid situation. This could even be that, uh, you know, you could be this queen of cups energy and still be the empress too. Like you could be all the feminines on the board. So take what resonates for you, but there is, you know, too many. Let's see what there's also, you know what, to be honest, there's also two masculine showing up here. So there's, yeah, there could be third-party situations going on on both sides here for some of y'all. Okay, so something that was being manifested here is being blocked and cut off here with the death card and the Wheel of Fortune. There's like a change coming in. So then we got the Chariot with the Eight of Swords. The Chariot again. So it's like two people not move <laughs> this is almost giving me like uh Jada and Will kind of energy 
because um, they're both, they seem to be staying bound to each other. So this could be you with this person um, or, you know, both of y'all could be all up in your head about all these situations because there's a lot that's went on here between y'all. It just got to a real toxic place, it looks like, between y'all. So there could have been, now for everybody, this won't be the case, but for some of y'all, it could have been a situation where, you know, one person cheated or betrayed the trust. And so, you know, the other person came back like, okay, well, you know, if you can do it, I can do it better type energy. I don't know. Um, but so next we got the seven of coins with the high priestess. Hmm. And then next, okay, so this person was, now this can be past, present, or future energy. Keep that in mind. But I feel like there is an energy that's getting eclipsed out here with the moon and the sun. We had an eclipse this last weekend. And I, I remember hearing a couple people saying that there were going to be people, situations in people's lives that are being eclipsed out. Then we got the six of swords here at the bottom of the deck which is indicating like somebody wanting peace here or a lot of people may be wanting peace after a time period of the energy has been crazy in the collective, in the um, in the planetary setup even with all the retrogrades and all this, there is a lot of endings happening. So there's a lot of decisions being made on should we end this, should we keep going, you know, type situations. But with this, I feel like there was a third party who has gotten eclipsed out here. So it could definitely be because there was something that came to light here because we got the sun twice, which is about um, things coming to light here. All right. It can also be about masculine energy, too. So but we got so we got this queen of wands here with the queen of coins and then we got the Ten of Swords in the middle. So somebody definitely got cut out here and, you know, put it where it needs to go. Y'all probably know what I'm talking about when you, when you see this, that someone got cut out. So let's see. Let's get some Oracle. Let's get some Oracle. I'm not going to go too deep with it because... I got some other things I need to do. I'll probably be back later on though, y'all. Okay, so let's see. Give me some messages for the collective on all this here, please. Maple spirit. I almost said maple syrup. Maple syrup. Some of y'all might like maple syrup. Are y'all eating breakfast or something? Maple spirit generosity. Okay, ancient oak spirit strength. Number two, number 23 could be significant. We got a five here representing change. Okay, so, you know, what I'm getting with this is somebody was a little too generous with their energy. Um, so let me see what else I get, okay? Or, let me get another one. Okay, freedom. Eagle spirit, freedom. Okay, so there, um, the eagle came out in the reading, I think, before this at the end. We got a number 13 here. So, yeah, there is somebody who is freeing themselves from some kind of toxic situation. So, it could be, you know, whatever, all the stuff I've been talking about, that's pretty much what it is. Somebody is focused now, Wizard of the Woods, on... Cleansing their energy here of any of this toxic stuff, this third party situation stuff. And we got manifesting dreams here with water spirit. I feel like whoever this is for, you're just really just tired of dealing with the drama, maybe, of this whole situation. So there is there is gonna be this sense of now also whenever I see this tree, I think about people building like legacies together and stuff. So this could be somebody who's really focused on their family, somebody that they've got kids with, somebody they've been building with here. And they're freeing themselves from this third party situation. Or you could just be totally sick of the crap and you're freeing yourself from them. Take what resonates on that one, okay? Either one could fit for y'all because it's a general reading. Okay, so... Mm, okay, let's get 
a couple from me. Ask your spirit guides that. Whoa, yeah. Okay, so somebody was definitely in their like shadow energy. Um, so they're probably going through some shadow work now. Number 25, okay. With loss here and risk and discipline, there's something this person does not want to lose with these cards I'm getting. And then we got the death card here. And what I'm getting with that is that to not lose their family, which is at the bottom of the deck, they had to um, end something here. They had to literally, you know, you see what it is. I mean, not that, but <laughs> y'all know what I'm saying. They just had to end this third party situation. So that's what I got for y'all on this one. Thank you for being here. I love and appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for all of your comments. Y'all encourage me so much to keep going. I really appreciate you.